2011, Nama Lamte was freed by state pardon. Welcome back to the real world you once lived. Today is my birthday. I swear to God, I'll skin you alive. <laughs> Do you just laugh at me? Huh? Hey! Hey! Yes! Hey! I kind of like the new you. <sighs> and you've got attitude too, huh? <sighs> Go to hell. Now, woman, you are strong headed. You can't even scream a bit. I'm not a baby. By the way, what's that to scream about? That's weird. Maybe. But to me, it's normal. Because like a soldier, others shed blood for pains in place of tears. <laughs> Naomi, I don't know what is wrong with you. You can't even stay a minute without rubbing your nose. What is wrong with you? Mom, I'm... Um... are you? And what are you looking for? Mom. Hello. Who are you looking for? Are you of course. Come on Naomi. I don't remember giving my address. Oh come on Naomi. We don't need no address to pay your visits or to take back our property do we? 
Okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. You know, we came around the neighborhood to see a friend, so we thought it would be nice to see how you're feeling. Or what would yeah. you think? Yeah. Just that. Okay. I'm good. Thanks for stopping by. Ha! Huh. That's okay, Naomi. What are friends for? Anyways, we thought you celebrate your birthday as usual. Sorry. It's not holding this year. Shit. Okay, never mind. We got to go then. Our bike? It's over there. You're welcome. Yeah. Mama. All those pain and suffering, no one knows the pressure you bear. Just Naomi, who are these girls? They look like kind of weird to me. Mom, <laughs> friends, <laughs> they can never be your friends. These girls can never be your friends. You had better stop seeing them. I'm a big man now. That's something. Ah! Bitch, you must be stepping on the wrong button at the wrong time! Ah! Did you see? Mm -hmm. Did you see what I saw? Yeah, I did. Well, let's see.
Hey, that won't be necessary. Hey, that was rude. Yeah. And we need an apology. I mean, right now. Why don't you go to the market and buy one since you definitely need one? What? What the hell do you mean, Naomi? It's high time you tell me, Miss Psychologist. Hey, 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 hold it. Wait. Listen, Naomi. We got you out of that goddamn place called prison. Okay? So add some decency here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And again, we have to recover the goddamn phone. Your boys know you crazy before. What the hell were you thinking? The next time you try this with me or anybody, so I'll make you feel sorry for yourself. What's your name? Smalley. Smalley. I'll put them. Hey, no appreciation? I don't know you and you don't know me either. So why don't you stop showing my life if I'm so rude? Hey, listen up, girl. If you must get there, quote in quotes, okay? You need us absolutely behind you. Exactly. I see. And what of? What of what? Please, can you add me as well? I want to be there too. Oh, where the drink? I can bring it. Hello. No sharp. No sharp at all. Open this thing. Yes. You wanna go has go shop bees, eh? Shop bees finish you the mess for everywhere. Idiot. Guys, don't talk to me anyhow. What is your problem? You're mad. You come out and then you come out. Excuse me, you have not paid me. I bet you are not talking to us. Sorry, you have not paid me. Wait a minute. Which would you prefer? Us drinking this? Or ransacking your ass? There is a time under the sun. The river never dries. Those gods never sleeps. La 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 la. This guy they preach for me. Excuse me, girl. Talk to you later. Can I have your phone? Excuse me. Are you deaf? My friend says he likes your phone. Oh, it's one of the latest phone on the market. I guess you can get yourself one if you want. That's why I desperately want this. And I would love to have yours. 
excuse me. Please, 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 don't hurt me. Please, don't hurt me. I'm begging you, please, don't hurt me. Please, don't hurt me. Please. Thank you, thank you. Looks like you are new here, right? Mm. No wonder why you are boastful in big because on our street like this. Now you be the cheerleader for here, Abby. No, no, no. Listen up. If you report us to anybody, you are dead. Okay. Now, either run. Delete! Bye! Money. I'll give you money. I'll give you 
Smalling, I strongly believe that you know the reason why we are doing this to you. Because you need to be corrected. How dare you bitches just walk past us this afternoon without greeting us? Clay, how could you guys do this to me? How could you? Okay, fine. No matter what, okay? Just let me go. I am sorry. Just let me go. You said what? <laughs> what a poor comfort called sorry. By the way, we heard you walking with a new face. Now tell me, who is she? She's a friend. I mean a friend. 
and she's new here. Fine, okay, do not harm that girl. She means no harm. She means no harm. How come you guys have suddenly become wild? They even disrespect us right in front of a total stranger. Now you go tell this friend of yours, those bitches, what has happened to you? This is just the beginning. It's just a yellow card. The next will be red. Like I give a fuck who the fuck you fucking think you are, you bloody motherfucker! Then why did you come look for me a home? Huh? Well, congratulations, you've been released from prison. So fucking what? I guess you should have gone home to spend time with your parents and family like you did. Rather than ask me stupid questions, why I turn my back on you in cell? Gosh, you are so fucking sick. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, you heard me, Barbara. Die! No, Naomi! Did you me? Oh my god! I'm talking to you! Hi! Yes. Look at you! Crazy! What a world! From unrepented enemies in the prison to. There's a real world! <laughs> Friends? It is a very small world, isn't it, Naomi? Yeah, I think I'll rather make friends than enemies because I don't think I can win a fight when it comes to you. I'm so grateful that we all made it to this meeting. But the big question is, why are we here? Well, the society, people and events do have a way of bringing the good and bad out of people. The fact is, so much has been said about this hood we live in. And at times we've been looked down upon. Why is that? Because our lifestyle is way too weird. Wow. And uncivilized. So I think it's high time we turn things around. For Na good. Naomi. Naomi. Your proposal sounds very nice. But it's easier said than done. Look, it might even take you forever to turn us around because we were born and brought up in this hood. It's either we adapt to the system by going rough, tough, wild, or just fold our arms and just watch them go wild or probably kill us. Yeah. Yeah, you know, CC is right. See, but seriously, girls, I am so skeptical right now because of what they did to me, honestly. Same here. Yeah. Listen, guys, it's only natural that for everything.
By the way, Naomi, you're not from this hood, so how come you suddenly pick interest in our lifestyle? <laughs> I was born and brought up here, but my mother thought I should relocate to the city after my daddy's untimely death. He was brutally murdered by the so-called thieves in this hood. Unfortunately, I was way too young then. Well, that's just by the way. That is why I am here, to try my hardest to see if I could turn things wrong for good. Because I will be damned if someone goes through what I went through some five years ago. A lot of irresponsible things have been going on here for decades. Yet no one cares to stand up because they are all afraid. The most annoying thing is that the people that live right here in this who don't give a fuck about the rule of law. That shit's gotta stop because I ain't taking that shit no more. around my neck. But I wouldn't blame any one of you if I eventually become the last and only person standing. All for one.
Did your parents tell you that stealing was a sin punishable by both God and man? That's in it. What? Ah! 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 Life and death live so close Still we have a sense of purpose So get to you the force and force So you are Thank you Thank you so much for coming to my rescue Rain does not rain always Be careful next time I know my sister But can't one make or receive call at this or disposal anymore <laughs> 21st century Plus hood Equals madness have a good day. Bye. Thank you, my sister. Good 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 What's the problem? This is like it too. Yo, King, good day, Swaggy. What happened to your face? <laughs> you lose a fight? Your Highness, Swaggy, too. We weren't in a fight. The fact is that he stole a cell phone from a woman. But one lady suddenly appears from nowhere and gives him the hardest chase of his life. Yo, King, Swaggy, too. We try me hardest, you know. But unfortunately, her pure legs and speed were too fast for my beatless legs. What bitch has the right to invade my territory and move my cheese? Swagito, I guess it must be that bitch of a girl. Yeah, man. Wait a minute. Damn. Can you guys describe how she looks like? Yo, Shaka Natal, I get body and can have some boots. She's slim, right? Not slim. Crime and violence is the order of the day. Government can't stop us, cause there is no way. So I get to the rule and I can lead the way. Innocent people every day with a slave. Sun is shining, but we can't make hay. Oh my 
God. What happened? Who did this to me? Hey! Oh my God! What have I done to deserve this? I'll go! You scared the hell out of me. Actually, I came as we arranged. Unfortunately, I saw three weird men coming out of your compound. One of them asked, where is your daughter Naomi? I said, I don't know. What on earth are they looking for? I guess your daughter We have the answer to that. God! God! Come and deliver me and my daughter Naomi. What has she done again? Is that why they came to scatter my room? Hey. Naomi will not listen to advice. Naomi will not want to change. What on earth? And mine started right here in the hood. However, it's kind of pathetic how this hood can change someone from good to bad. That's got to stop. And we are the people to make that happen. Yeah. And that's why most people, especially the weak, keep migrating from here to the city. Yeah. In this jungle, we've got to be strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And brave. Tough and rough in order to survive. Exactly. You see, even the police are afraid to penetrate us. But, no one is above the law. Yeah, I'm not 
Respect. Respect and liberty to all we need. Now, everything is falling apart. I get rumors of reports every day that it's a new girl in our hood. Now, you listen up, fellas. I want you guys to track down that girl and her friends. I'm so much interested in knowing what they do and what they are up to every minute. has been found dancing so freely and relaxingly in the midst of the cobras. It's her name, Naomi. Yes, Bosu. And she's parading the entire hood with Titi, Claudia and Smalley. 
Bossman, something must be done about this as soon as possible. Because I've lost a huge sum of money to her on gambling. Organize another serious game. Let's see if she wins. We live in a girl. Life and death live so close. So close. Still we have a sense of purpose. So get to you the force and force. We live in a girl. Life and death live so close. so close Still we have a sense of purpose So get to you the force and force Just push us Get to you Who loves? Who loves? Who loves? Who loves? Who loves? Who loves? So we have a soul attack Who loves? Who loves? Who loves? Who loves? Who loves? We live in a girls Life and death live so close Still we have a sense of purpose So get to you the force These 21st century children are really pains in the neck They don't listen to their parents anymore mm -mm. Not my Naomi hmm. My Naomi is a good girl It's unfortunate that she's gone through so much within these 5 years And I'm so sad that with this incident has turned her into Hey, take it easy how can I take it easy when my only child is parading this wild and crazy hood as if she's untouchable? And when is she going back to the city? Ask me again. She has not even mentioned it. Oh God. And her father was killed in this hood by hoodlums. I'm not ready to lose my only daughter. She's all I've got. Nothing is going to happen. Shh. I like that. So just relax and I promise you, you will enjoy every bit of the show. Okay? That's cool. Now here we go. Wrong art committed by wrong people by the wrong place of innocent people equals to what? Minimum? Then I can pay you. Maximum. Death penalty. And good people messing around with bad people at wrong place equal to what? Minimum. Fatal injuries. Mazimo six feet deep. <laughs> if you come any closer, I swear to God, I will strangle her to death. Uh, uh, okay. And her blood will be in your hands. So back off. Uh, 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 fine, just calm down. I said back off. Fine, you win, you win. Just don't. Half. That's good. But well, that depends on how much you three girls are willing to cooperate with us. Girls, hit it. Yes, yes! Fuck you! Fuck! Anybody, they're just bloody teenagers. Why don't you come fuck me? That is what the society has turned them into. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to my rescue. Hey, my don't walk alone at night anymore. In that mini skirt. Like in this skirt, my home. I'm scared here. Where do you live? Around the neighborhood. All right, let's go. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. yeah.
Hey. Shine your eyes. Oh. Excuse me, will you get your stinking hand off me? And he's got attitude. I'm warning you for the last time. Get your damn filthy hand off me. I can see you having this year's with dealt with before. Okay, bring it on. Let's see who is bad. once your age and I could remember how stubborn and unreasonable I was to my late dad I always wanted total freedom to do whatsoever I please myself all my friends but the moment that he died I realized that I lost something irreplaceable you know what they say that a cow doesn't know the usefulness of its tail until it loses it no matter what she is still your mother and she laboriously carried you in her womb for nine good months. Tell me, is this how you really want to treat her after single had and lead bring you into the world? Look at me, boy. I said, look at me when I speak to you. You can see the three of us. We've been to prison for years. And trust me, prison is the last place you want to be, even for one minute. You know why? Because it's man's made hell. Extremely unbearable. Drinking and smoking of weed will certainly cause problems for you in the nearest future. You could possibly get cancer, which is incurable. That means you will die before your damn time. And if you really want to have a very nice future, you gotta stand now. It's possible. that you girls couldn't tell me on the phone. Sissy and Barbara were attacked. What? Are you kidding me? And do we look like one? Do we? Damn it. <laughs> when did this happen? Because I was with them too late in the night. They were attacked last night. And both of them sustained injuries. <laughs> and do you have an idea who did that? Who else? Who else other than those woodlums who call themselves the Swagito boys? Who else would do that? And it's all because of you, Naomi. Since he told them they openly want them to stay away from you. And they've done it to me too, damn it. I mean, we we'll continue suffering as long as we hang out with you. Yeah. For what fucking reason? I know a lot of things have been happening with us lately. I understand if any one of you should consider backing out right now. For me, I won't give up until justice prevails in this hood. Because the future is always ahead. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hall. We live in a big ghetto. Life and death live so close. Still we have a sense of purpose. So get to you the force and force. Crime and violence is the order of the day. Government can't stop us, cause there is no way. So I get to the rule and I'm the way. Who are you looking for? What have I done to deserve this kind of treatment in my own house? Ma'am, it's nothing you did, but your daughter. I beg you, whatever she has done, I beg you in the name of God, please don't hurt her. She's all I've got, please, please. She's all you've got. So how does that affect the price of fish in this hold? Now, now, you go tell me. You try your hardest to make sure she leaves this hood as soon as possible. Tell her to go back to where she came from. Because she doesn't belong here. Now, Mr. Bonaparte, this is not this community. She's just here on a visit. I beg you. I beg you. My sons, I beg you. We are not your people! We are not your sons! <laughs> now, you listen. The next time we come into your house, we will not only break in and scatter the things like we did before, but we will burn you alive for the house. Ah, I beg you! I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, I will do just as you said, I beg you! They say a word is enough for the wise. Make sure she leaves the hood as soon as possible, or else. Ah, I beg, beg. Hey! No, no. Naomi, oh Papa, Papa, where are you? Come and see what Naomi is doing to me. Naomi, why would you listen to advice? Why? <laughs> oh, my last meal. Oh, God. Hey! Naomi, oh God. Why, Naomi, change? Why would you change? <laughs> oh, don't follow me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this very mission is getting a side turn. Eh? So that I swear you can say that again. Yeah, and if you continue like this, you know, we are going to be the queens of the jungle. Mm -hmm. Having eliminated that wicked so called king of the jungle called Swagitu. <laughs> Swagitu, I mean, uh, Swagitu. <laughs> Swagitu. You are crazy. Listen, 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 girls, listen, girls. We cannot eat our cake and have it again. Yeah, right. Yes, we are doing the right thing. But you have to remember. That there's always a price to pay towards actualizing my dream. And it's my wish to. Hey! Thank God! <laughs> Naomi, I found you at last. Thank God, Naomi, let's go. Mom. Naomi! Wow. Naomi! Mom! Come on, let's go home! Mom, knock it off! You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. What? You call this good for nothing? Whoa. Human beings as friends? Mom, why are you doing this? Why? This is I lost your father when you were a kid and I had to take care of you all by myself. Now our lives are at stake. If you don't come home with me right now and pack your things and leave this wood, then our house will be burned down. What? That will be the end of our lives. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Whoa. Now you know why I am restless. Mom, it is just but a threat. Nothing is going to happen to us. Just free your mind. Naomi, are you all right? Are you in your right senses? Come on, let's go home. Mom, this is my hometown. And nobody, absolutely nobody, is going to drive me away. Hometown. Hometown indeed. Come on, let's go. Ah, Mom! Who <laughs> 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 